Alright lads, Bandit here doing a commentary and this is a gameplay against Calibre. So now I've got my new capture card sorted, which I'm recording this with, I'll be able to upload regular YouTube content again and also live stream which I'm looking forward to. Hopefully I can build up my viewer base a bit again which I've lost, you know, due to the fact that I did stop uploading for quite a considerable amount of time because I just wasn't really playing Xbox at all. And then YouTube sub boxes really don't help because they're just pretty poor. But there's nothing I can do about that. So anyway, in this gameplay, I end up 35 to 11. And we win in about 8 minutes. So to be honest, we do completely rinse them. Uh, the first thing that I want to talk about now that we've picked up a fourth is my team, Barry's boys. Um, so me, Horizon and Viz were looking for one since I've had my connection fixed a few weeks ago but we've not actually really played at all or scrummed with anyone um, during that time and we've kind of just realised in the past week you know it's only a month until a land we do really need to just get a fourth sorted now and also get stuff sorted for the event like the hotel tickets and stuff so um, over the past week we've scrummed with a few people and you know it's, it's gone pretty well with whoever we've been playing with but um, we've picked up Stora now over the past two days uh, we've been playing with Stora and to be honest we have pretty much just annihilated almost every team we've played against and it's not just due to that fact that we've picked them up it's also just because um, from what I'm aware Jacob and Viz both know him pretty well from LAN and get on with him so it's always better to pick up someone as well that you know you're gonna get on with and also it helps that he has um, a good attitude in the game to call him out and stuff which the main rager in this team I'd say is probably me to be honest but um, I do try and cut it out, especially for playing serious games. I never rage in anything other than scrims, to be perfectly honest. But um, especially if we're playing a top team or something, I'll always uh, try and not rage at all, even in scrims. But um, so yeah, that's our team now. Uh, the only real restriction that I can see for us is activity in terms of actually getting on as a team and scrimming. Uh, at the minute I'm doing some work experience so I'm working 9 to 5 Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Friday and then a lot of the time Horizon's quite busy with uni or social stuff because obviously if you're at uni you're not just going to be on your Xbox all the time are you? Um, then Viz and Stora are just both at college I think so they could get on quite a lot really um, but we're obviously going to try and play as much as is possible but it's likely we'll only be able to do two or three nights a week, uh, maybe four, if we're lucky. That's obviously including the weekends as well. But in my opinion, that's still enough to do well, as long as you're just getting some uh, good practice and solid scrims. Um, so yeah, we're going to be attending EGL9, and I'm fairly certain that we won't be attending I-Series, as... Me and Horizon are both pretty low on money at the minute, you know, with him being a student and I'm still looking for a job at the minute. I've actually got a phone interview uh, for William Hill, you know, betting shop tomorrow, so hopefully that goes well. Because if I could get a job, that really would be good, as I'd like to attend a few more events, really. And, um... Anyway, yeah, we'll be attending EGL9 as our first LAN and... I'm not going to say, you know, where I think we'll, we'll place, where we'll finish, as I have no idea about the amount of teams and competition that's going to be there, but I know that if we play to our potential, and how we have been playing recently, um, that we will definitely do well. We do have some decent land placements between us. Um, uh, I placed top 16 at EGL 4, and then top 24 at EGL 5, which... I uh, have, have no idea still to this day how we didn't end up getting at least top 12 there after the first day it went so well uh, still in the lo uh, winners bracket after the first day and then it all just went downhill after Joker Boy turned up late but anyway 
back to the point of the commentary, what was I talking about? Um, yeah, I think both Viz and Horizon placed top 24 at EGLA. I'm fairly sure about that because they do have some seeding points from that. Um, and I'm not sure about other lands they've been to. Then I think Stora has some pretty good uh, placements on PS3 from what I know, but I don't know the exact placements or anything like that. Um, so really we'll be, we'll be looking to just get on and scrim when we can and try and just build up the opinion seed as well because part of the seed is going to come from opinions. I think we did alright in the seedings cup so we'll have a few seeding points from that or whatever. But to be perfectly honest I'm really not asked about seed whatsoever. So um, yeah I think we're capable of pushing higher placements than what we've previously achieved as well. Uh, so we'll just have to see what happens, you know, at the end of the day it's Call of Duty and it is a very unpredictable game and any team can beat any team uh, when it comes down to it, so in the meantime, yeah, what I'm planning to do is start my YouTube again properly um, as it, do it has fallen off a lot obviously, it doesn't help that YouTube's absolute shambles um, like the amount of times I've had people telling me how the video has not showed up in their sub box or whatever is ridiculous so what I also want to be doing is streaming as much as I can from now so if I'm playing when I'm not team screwing if I'm online I'll probably start playing some GB again and get a little sweaty roster on the go or something try and build up my twitch following stream some GB's and stuff um, what I really want to do though is get live gameplays up on my YouTube channel as well as I'm really lazy when it comes to actually recording the game but it's something that I really do need to start doing because I just miss out on a lot of gameplays because people don't have game recording on and montage clips as well because of it so that's pretty much it for this commentary guys I uh, just wanted to get an update to you know let people know uh, about my team uh, that we're attending EJ09 etc and hopefully look uh, out on my channel and stream for some good content over you know the next few months or so or whatever and um, yeah guys that's pretty much it hope you enjoyed the gameplay and the commentary and I'll get some more videos up soon guys peace